This video will demonstrate the process of dispensing a paper script in MinFOS. To access the MinFOS dispense form, from the MinFOS launchpad, click the dispense icon to open the dispense pro module. Then in the dispense pro screen, click the dispense icon to launch the MinFOS dispense form. To dispense a paper prescription, in the surname field, either scan your store's own repeat barcode or scan the electronic script barcode. If the script is scanned, the dispense form will be populated with the script information. The majority of the fields will be pre-filled and need only be verified as correct against the paper script. If a script cannot be scanned and needs to be manually dispensed, search for the customer by name, entering at least the first three letters of the surname, enter a street number, and part street name, or enter a Medicare card number with no spaces. Press tab or enter. The customer search window is displayed, showing the results of the search. If more than one customer is displayed, double click the correct customer or select the customer and then click the OK button. If there are no search results, the customer entry window is displayed or you may click add to add a new customer to the database. To learn more about searching for and adding customers, please refer to the Add a Customer in Dispense video. Once you have selected or added the customer, the dispense form will be updated with the customer's information. The RX date is the date that the script was prescribed. This will default to the current date and can be altered if required. To alter the script date that was prescribed in the same month, simply put the date of the month and press tab. To alter the script for a previous month, input the day and month, then press tab. And to alter a script to a previous year, input the day, month and then year before pressing tab. In the drug field, type part of the brand name or a forward slash and part or all of the active ingredient name of the prescribed drug and then press tab. The drug recall window will display the results of your search. From left to right, the columns displayed are a shortcut number to select the drug. The quantity is displayed as the maximum NHS amount available for that selected NHS code. The bioequivalent type A or B is displayed. The number of allowable repeats, the prescription type that has been selected, the NHS code of the drug, and the icons in the next column will identify if the drug is a streamlined authority, available for continued dispense, able to be dispensed from a compliant hospital medication chart, or able to be dispensed from a RACF medication chart. Right click anywhere on the screen to display a legend window containing the descriptions of these icons and the font colors used in the drug recall window. Click OK to exit the legend window. The remaining columns on the drug recall window show the current stock on hand, the brand price premium, a T icon if there is a therapeutic premium, the price to the patient, the safety net value, the cost of the drug, the manufacturer code of the drug and the manufacturer name of the drug and the prescriber type. To display generic listings for the search results, Highlight the item required and then click the generic button. The generic drug listing window is displayed. Make a selection from this window or click cancel to return to the drug recall window. In both the drug recall window and the generic drug windows, you can also filter by stocked only items and you may choose to select and hide specific items that you do not wish to dispense or do not hold at your store. You can also click show all, which will show any items that have been previously hidden or are not shown because stocked only is checked. To select a drug, click to highlight or use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Then click OK. You may also navigate using the numbers or letters in the first column of the drug recall window. Once a drug has been selected, 
the active ingredient and NHS information is displayed underneath the drug name. To the left of this field, a pregnancy warning is visible if applicable. The cows, schedule, stock on hand, and max quantity and repeats are displayed in the drug information field. If this medication is new or a different strength for the customer, an alert will display above the dispense label preview. In the directions field, enter the directions on the script. You can use shortcut SIGs when entering in directions. If this medication has been previously dispensed, the SS same SIG can be used to recall the directions from the previous dispensing. If the K SIG button appears active, the selected drug has a default SIG attached. To use this SIG, press Alt-K or click the K SIG button. Press Tab to move to the next field. A preview of the label to be printed with the added directions is displayed below. Enter in the doctor's prescriber number or code and then press Tab. The RX type will default to the prescriber type selected previously in the drug recall window. Click on the drop down arrow to view the script types that can be selected. If this is an OWING script, click the checkbox or use Alt plus W to apply the checkbox. The quantity will default to the amount in the drug recall window, that is, the maximum quantity allowable for the chosen PBS code. This can be altered if required. If this is a deferred script, use the checkbox or use Alt and F to apply. Enter the number of repeats, if any. If applicable, enter the CTG code on the script or H if the script is handwritten. If this is a repeat prescription, enter in the amount of times dispensed and then press tab. If this is a regulation 24 prescription, click the checkbox or use Alt and R to apply. The Reg 25 checkbox will be checked if the script is an immediate supply necessary. If your pharmacy has a set price for the drug you are dispensing, the price will show in the price field. If there is no fixed price set, the price will be calculated based on the store's configuration settings. The price can be adjusted by entering a new price into the price field. The price can also be adjusted in the private pricing window. Launch this window by clicking the adjust button or using Alt and J. In this window, the price can be adjusted by selecting a markup and dispensing fee, or alternatively, a fixed price can be entered. After entering a fixed price, select update drug with changes to update the price for all customers for all scripts ongoing. To apply the price to only this script as a once off, simply click OK. Enter the pharmacist initials that have been set up in pharmacist maintenance prior to dispensing. Once you have dispensed a script, the dispense form will retain your initials on that workstation unless changed by another user. Check the copay checkbox to apply or remove the copay discount from this script. If the customer has been opted in or out, this cannot be changed without updating the customer's profile. The form type will default to one of the options displayed in the drop down box. This is determined by the fields previously entered in the dispense form and should not be adjusted. If the form type is incorrect, please review your previous selections in the dispense form. If the brand specific checkbox is checked, the brand of the drug will be printed on the label first with the active ingredients in brackets. If the brand specific checkbox is unchecked, the label will display the ingredient first and the brand in brackets. The special price is available for private and under co-payment prescriptions for prices which are greater or less than the normal price to the customer. For example, the usual price of the medication may be $25, but you would like to supply it to only this customer at $20 ongoing. Enter the price into the price field and then check the special price checkbox to retain a special price for the individual customer's medication. Once all of the correct information has been entered and the pharmacist has entered their initials, press enter to complete the dispensing or click the OK button. 
the script options window is displayed. You are now able to scan check your script by scanning the barcode on the label and then scanning the barcode of the product. All other available options are displayed in the script options list. To use one of these options, press the corresponding letter to the option using your keyboard or select with your mouse and then click OK.